If you're anything like me, you may walk out of, say, the book of Psalms more confused than inspired. It's nothing like any poetry you've encountered. There's no cadence or rhyme and it often repeats over itself. Well, just like watching a game that you don't understand, there will be things that slip under the surface glance. To appreciate biblical poetry, you'd have to understand the game it's trying to play. The defining aspect of Hebrew poetry is the literary device called parallelism. The term first coined by Robert Louth in the 1700s, it describes the way biblical authors repeat over certain concepts with different words to derive a new meaning from the sum of its parts. Take Psalms 19 for example. The heavens declare the glory of the Lord, the skies proclaim the work of His hands. The basic message is seeing the glory of God in the sky. It's first introduced in the first line of the verse, then developed by the second, using different images with different words. Parallelism is used in different ways in the Bible. Love classified the use into three categories. There's a synonymous parallelism, antithetical, and synthetic parallelism. A synonymous parallelism is where the same concept is shown in a different perspective. In an antithetical parallelism, the images or words would contrast one another to have a clear distinction. And in a synthetic parallelism, the images develop over one another. Though the best way to see this is of course to encounter it for yourselves, knowing that there is a game being played in between the lines.